वेलकम टू यू शॉपिफाई एसी ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एंड शॉपिफाई स्टोर रैंक कोर्स हियर आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर अल्टीमेट ईकॉमर्स एसीओ स्टोर गाइड स्टेप बाय स्टेप दैट विल हेल्प यू टू इंक्रीज योर सेल्स इंप्रूव योर वेबसाइट रैंकिंग एंड ग्रेट मोर कस्टमर्स इन योर वेबसाइट सो if you have started your online business with shopify and you have make ready your website now you wanted to get the customers get audience get target traffic on your store and rank your store on the search engine like google yahoo or bing then you can continue this course here i am going to share ultimate guideline from beginning to advance basically this course is for entrepreneur who already started their business with shopify but anyone can join this course who wanted to learn shopify seo and want to make money by providing shopify seo service and this course is fully free so i hope all of my subscriber get the 100% benefit because here i am going to share the full seo process with real life project with real business website updating seo technique so i believe you don't miss any lesson any class any step of this playlist so first i wanted to share the course description or course details this course will cover the fundamental strategies and techniques for optimizing shopify website for search engines our entrepreneur will learn how to create a search engine friendly website and increase visibility in organic search results through one page optimization keyword research content creation link building and analytics additionally this course will explore how to use shopify build in seo p chart to improve website ranking and drive traffic to the site also i will share a lot of updated things system or process that will be very very helpful for your shopify website and here we are going to use the reference of moz.com shamrush.com and shopify ultimate seo checklist so that you don't miss any update things to apply in your website okay now i am going to share the course outline introduction to seo for shopify what is seo and why it's matter for shopify how search engine work and how they rank website understanding the basics of keyword research one page optimization for seo developing an effective site architecture creating seo friendly urls title tags and meta description optimizing product page and collection and blog post using structured data to improve search engine visibility keyword research for shopify understanding keyword research and analytics how to use keyword research tools to identify high potential keyword how to optimize content for targeted keyword content creation for shopify creating content that appeals to your target audience and search engine understanding the different type of content that can be created for shopify developing a content strategy for shopify link building for shopify understanding the importance of link building in shopify developing a link building strategy for shopify understanding the different type of links and how to acquire them shopify building seo p chart understanding how shopify building seo p chart work how to optimize product and collection page with shopify seo p chart how to use shopify blog to improve search engine ranking analytics for shopify how to measure the effectiveness of your shopify effort using google analytics to track traffic and user behavior 
understanding how to use analytics to improve your Shopify strategy, advanced Shopify SEO techniques, advanced on-page optimization techniques, advanced link building techniques, optimizing for local search result, how to stay up to date with the latest SEO trend and algorithm update. So I hope you understand the full details or course outline what you are going to learn in this course and what I will cover in this course and what resource I will use for this course. So I hope you must watch the full course. Hey there, welcome to you Shopify SEO optimization and Shopify store rank class 2. Today we are going to start doing the basic SEO of Shopify online stores. In the previous tutorials, as I have mentioned that we are going to do everything in live project or in a live website and here is the website that we are going to use in this course. So this is one of my client website and I am going to do seo for this website there is no seo work is done yet so we have to start seo with this website to start the seo first we are going to start with basic seo or seo basics what is the first step to seo basic the first step is to set up google search console and bing webmaster tools so now you have a question what is the google search console so i'm going to search in google here you can see that google search console is a web service by google which allow webmasters to check indexing status search query crowding error and optimize visibility of their website basically google search console is generally used for indexing your website submit your website audit the query check error or everything is relevant to rank your website in google how its performance on google so i hope you understand in the same way being webmaster also do the same work for your website but google search console is google product and bing is yahoo product this is the difference so i hope you understand what is Google Search Console and Bing Webmaster Tools. So now we are going to set up Bing Webmaster Tools and Google Search Console. So to do this, first I'm going to my Google Search Console account. So search in Google again, Google Search Console. And here is the Google Search Console result. Going to click on the Google Search Console start now and if you already logged in your email then you automatically can log in your google search console account so you can see that i have logged in my google search console account now i have to set up google search console account for this website so how we can do this first i'm going to copy this website url then click on the drop down menu click on the add property then add the domain name here okay click on the continue now there have easy option that we can use i'm going to use the html tag method so click on it copy this meta name click here then go back my Shopify admin panel click on the online store click on the three dot icon edit code open theme liquid file add this line at the top or after Head. click on the save asset save click on the verify Hello. 
wow ownership verified now click on the go to property okay we have verified our domain ownership now we have to set up sitemap so i'm going to click on the sitemap then i have to add the sitemap here so how we get or find the sitemap so here is the easy guideline in shopify website looks here sitemap files are generated automatically you can find them at the root directory of your shopify store domains hey there welcome to you in my youtube channel and i am faisal ahmed so if you're looking any shopify expert or digital marketer or website designer to make your website using wordpress shopify do the wix or any other space builder then you can contact with me also i'm working as a seo expert so you can consider me your next project i am available to study your project so if you need fast delivery with high quality support or service then you can consider have a nice day bye bye such as johnsapprails.com sitemap xml so our sitemap will be just copy this line our domain name looks here this will be our sitemap so i'm going to show you in real life looks here this is our website sitemap link so i'm going to add the sitemap link here okay then click on the submit wow we have successfully submitted our sitemap now google will start indexing our site and after a few time we can see the all details about our website performance or everything in here now we have to set up bing webmaster tool so to do this go to the Bing Webmaster Tools here is the Bing Webmaster Tools website link click on the signing Google signing with Google I'm going to use the same email for being webmaster tool setup. So here is my being webmaster tools admin panel or account section. Now I'm going to add our website in being webmaster tool. So this is the same process. First I'm going to copy the website link then click on this arrow icon then click on the add a site or we can directly import from google search console that will be easy so just click on the import continue then select the same email that you have already used in google search console click on the hello now from here i can import any site in bing webmaster tools so i wanted to import this one so uncheck all others click on the import wow congratulations site addition successful we have successfully imported one site from your google search console account here is the name of this website marina bird click on the done okay we have imported this site now we have to wait a little bit time to check the update data so you can see that your data and report are being processed and it may take up to 48 hours to reflect meanwhile to speed up the indexing process please submit your sitemap by using sitemap p-chart so here's the same things we have to do we have to add the sitemaps here so click on the sitemap 
and you can see that our sitemap automatically imported because we have imported everything from Google Search Console and that's why we no need to import or add or submit the sitemap against here its status under processing so I hope you understand and basically we have done our first step basic SEO setup so we have done setup Google Search Console and Big Webmaster Tools also we have generated and submit a sitemap we have done these two tags or these two checklist in this class in the next class we'll learn how to set up google analytics create a robot.txt file install and configure seo plugin check search console for manual action make sure our website indexing so next tutorial will be more awesome more importance for your website for your shopify online store so i hope you understand everything very clearly i have shared everything from the real project so that you can draw the same things for your website you can apply everything following this lesson and uh, you can get the benefit from my course so thank you for your time to watch this video join this class joining this lesson and if you think this class or this lesson is very helpful for you then click on the like button and subscribe to my channel hey there welcome to your shopify seo optimization and rank your shopify store free course here you are going to learn ultimate e-commerce seo store guideline for your new shopify online store so let's get started today we are going to learn how to set up google analytics and create a robot.txt file before set up google analytics we have to know what is google analytics google analytics is basically a google free product or service to know more about that i'm going to my shopify admin panel here is my shopify admin panel then click on the online store preference scroll down you can see that there is an option named google analytics and here is the basic details of google analytics google analytics enable you to track the visitors to your store and generate report that will help you with your marketing and you can learn more about google analytics by following this link so here is the full details about google analytics but i am not going to cover everything in here because i want to share only the main things that is most relevant of this course and most useful for you because if i share full details this class will take more than one hour's time so that will be boring for you that's why i wanted to share the main things only for you so now here is the option to set up google analytics we have to paste google analytics code here and here is the link how do i set this up so click on this link here is the step by step guideline to set up but i wanted to share and i wanted to show you how you can do this also here is a problem that you can see there is a warning google analytics 4 because technology update every day to add the more featured and more advantage for users day by day and here is the google analytics 4 is coming or being available from 1st july 2023 so that's why here is a warning and we are going to read this warning right now google analytics 4 google update measurement platform is available through google channel app universal analytics will be removed from this section on july or on 1st july 2023 install the app to upgrade your account and avoid any data in corruption so shopify directly give us warning that we must use google analytics 4 instead of universal analytics and here is the google channel app link that i am going to open right now so click on this link now you have to scroll down to install this google app i am going to scroll down click on the add this channel button okay now we have connect now you have connect your google analytics account or google account so 
I'm going to click on the connect it's super easy just click on connect button from here you have to select your email that you want to use in Google Analytics setup and before that you must have to log in your Gmail account now you have to click on the connect button Wow you have successfully set up Google Analytics 4 now you can get this insight into your online store performance with Google Analytics okay and here is the Google Merchant Center now list your product on Google to drive sales and reach more customers and uh, you have to click on the get status we are not going to learn about google merchant center we just going to set up google analytics that we have already done then you have to listing your product in google merchant center that is most important for your new store so i hope you understand the total process in this lesson in the next lesson we'll learn how to product listing we'll learn more about google merchant center and how we can get more customers in your shopify online store using google app or google merchant center okay next we are going to learn about create a robot.txt file so what is robot.txt file i'm going to search in google what is robot.txt file in SEO here is the answer a robot.txt file tells search engine crawlers which URL the crawler can access in your store this is used mainly to avoid overloading your site with request it is not a mechanism for keeping a web page out of Google to keep a web page out of Google block indexing with no index or password protected the page for example I want to don't share the access for customer account page and for that robot txt file use so now we are going to learn how to create robot.txt file okay to create robot.txt file we have to go to our Shopify admin panel then click on the online store click on this three dot icon edit code now open template folder create a new template select robot.txt file click on the done and you can see that we have created our robot.txt file so I hope you understand the easy process to set up your robot.txt file and Google Analytics. So I'll share two details video about Google Analytics and Google and robot.txt file that will be more more helpful with a lot of information and easy example that you can learn deeply about Google analytics and robot.txt file so thank you for your time to joining this class we'll see you in the next class hey there welcome to you shopify seo optimization and rank your shopify store free course in the previous lesson we have set up google analytics and create a robot.txt file and today we will start with check search console for manual action and make sure that your site is indexed so first we are going to check search console for manual action so i'm going to search console select our website and you can see that our website already indexed by google search console and you get all the updates also you get the error everything from here so you can see that there are nine total web search click we already get the click in here or in our website and 16 indexed page here video page indexing issue one no video indexed as i said we get uh, the error report also here and 108 not indexed page okay also here is the experience mobile usability page experience core web vitals 
shopping, product snippet, merchant listing, everything you can see from here. Now going to click on the performance, total 9 click, total impression 137 average CTR click the red 6 into 6 that's not so bad and average position 44.7 okay we have to do full SEO and marketing for that to rank it and here is the top query look here you can get the query by position just click here number one OSB 3mm Ghibli print that's in the position number 3.3 that's good position we just started our work and you get the impressive result by day by day as we continuously work on this website to rank and implement the best SEO techniques now going to click on the pages here you can find why pages are not indexed block by robot.txt 10 page crawl currently not indexed 13 Alternative page is proper canonical tag 45 page explode by no index tag 16 page and not found 4047 page. In the next, we'll fix one by one. Or I already uploaded few article relevant to this page indexing issue like blog by robot.txt how to fix 404 not found exclude by no index alternative page with proper canonical tag like so so you can follow my all the video tutorials relevant shopify seo they are have a playlist shopify seo you can check this one also also we'll focus to fix all the issue in this course so i hope you don't miss any lesson of this course okay then click on the video pages no video indexed even one video has a issue we have to fix that our sitemap successfully submitted looks here discover 26 page looks good removal we can remove any page or any url from here that we not want indexed by search console and here you can get the page experience data core web vitals mobile usability everything but as this website is very beginner and we have just started the seo work then we can don't see any most uh, issue and if you check the mobile usability it's very important looks here we have no error all are mobile friendly and here is the shopping section product snippet merchant method and shopping tab settings also logos site link search box so i hope you understand how to manually check the search console and get the all data about your website and in the next lesson learn how to fix the issue of search console so we have completed this section search console manual action make sure your site website is indexed our website is indexed we already get this okay so what is the next i am going to my shopify admin panel and you can see that we have added google channel and uh, we have to set up the google channel and right now we are on the product listing section we have connected email email from google google analytics property we have done this one also next we have to confirm that uh, you have added the information to your store so i am going to click on it and click on the confirm and now we have to connect with google merchant center account so here already uh, by default account so click on the connect okay now we have to then your product feed settings these settings affect how your product will appear to customers they are based on your store currency language and shipping it's most important things target country and language so we are going to click on the select then target language select english okay then click on the save now i have to agree term and condition so click on the i have read and agree term check it complete setup 
wow we have successfully set up our google channel from here you get all the product status right now there are no product approved pending and rejected we have to add product here then google will take three or five business days to review all the product and here is the other tools that we can use paid tools google analytics already active here sell your product on youtube we don't have any youtube channel for this store so we are missing it right now but it's most important for us to create a youtube channel based on our product or store so we have to do it or you must have to do it then here is the settings that we already done then here is the health center so i hope you understand hey there welcome to e shopify seo optimization and shopify store ranking course today in this class we are going to start from the fifa rank section you can see that i am on the shopify admin panel and going to click on the online store then click on the fifa rank and here we have to set up the basic seo for example first we have to add the title of home page so my website home page title is marina bart this is my home page title meet the artist we can add an icon here a art art related icon so i think this is very relevant marina bart meet the artist looks good okay we have added the home page title then we have to add the meta description and you can see that enter a description that get a better ranking on search engine like google and max character 320 so i am going to do this very quickly and going to click on the about section and and here is the ready meta description for me looks good then click on the save then here is the google analytics we already completed this section then facebook pixel will do this when we work with the facebook or facebook ad campaign then we'll set up facebook okay we have done so far now we have to do seo on the pages so i'm going to click on the online store then click on the pages and we have to draw manually one by one and for example we wanted to do seo on about the artist and you can see that there is an option edit website seo so i'm going to click on here and the page title so here is the title about the artist then add meta description here looks good okay then click on the save go back then open the contract view page okay here is the contact page now going to use chat gpt to write meta description for contact page going to type act like an expert write a SEO friendly meta description for contact page
here is the ready matter description I now I can use so I'm going to copy this one click on the edit SEO get in touch with me today whatever you have a question I am always happy to hear from you contact with me now and let's start a conversion so looks good and here will be paste title contract click on the save so I hope you understand how I did this one in the same way we have to draw other pages SEO title and meta description and to more about meta description you can type in Google what is meta description of page in voice site and looks here a meta description track generally in from an interest user with a short relevant summary of what a particular page is about so i hope you understand the summary of a page information is simply called meta description so i hope you can create more the description that will be more creative more attractive at your users or at your audience so i hope you can draw other pages title and meta description settings in the edit SEO section or in the edit website SEO section see you in the next lesson today we are going to learn more about Shopify SEO that help your website to rank in search engine like Google or Bing and in this lesson we are going to learn about technical SEO so here is the all checklist of technical SEO and we are going to start with ensure your website is mobile friendly it's very important so how we can ensure or check our website is it mobile friendly or not that's mean is your website responsive or not so there is universal or common system to check your website with your smartphone also you can check your website with your computer is it mobile friendly or not so I'm going to open my browser and here is my website you can see that I am on the desktop version right now I'm going to click on the right button of my mouse then inspect and you can see that there is an icon called Trugal device toolbar click on this icon and you can see there is a mobile version of this website and now we can check our website is it mobile friendly or not so I can see that our website is perfectly work on mobile version and it's fully responsive and uh, mobile friendly also you can check with different device size like iPhone XR or iPhone SE or Samsung Galaxy Pixel 5 so I hope you understand how you can check your website to know the mobile friendly or responsiveness then you have to check your site loading speed that is most important things to rank your website in search engine so how you can check your website loading is there are a lot of tools that help you to know your website is free fully free the most popular tools is page speed insight by Google so I'm going to open page speed insight ping dong tools and GT matrix so these three tools or this ways that is most popular website where you can check your website 
loading speed so first i'm going to check my website loading speed by google page speed insight so click on this analyze button so you can see that our website speed on mobile device is so bad and the speed index time 14 second that is very very bad for seo so we have to increase the speed of our website in mobile also you can check our website desktop speed it's look on average not bad and speed index 3.6 second so we can improve it minimum 90 plus and on mobile we also have to make it speed within the three second or maximum five second for mobile and for desktop max three second okay so you can see that our website is not so fast so we have to work on our website speed increasing so we have to work to speed increase in our website also we are going to check our website speed by other tools like uh, pingdom.com star test And on Pingdom result is load time 2.80 second. Also, we are going to check our website with gtmatrix.com. So click on the text your site. In GT Matrix, the website performance is good but not best or so bad. So we'll get the total idea and we are in here and we understand that our website must have to more speed up and increase the speed limit. So we have noted this text that is very important that we have to speed up our, our website and we'll do the speed optimization in the future lesson or the next lesson but uh, we are just going to testing our website and we are will do continue work on our website to rank it fast and fix everything that will help to rank it fast okay so what is next the next things is that make sure you are using https this is also important things for your website so the Good news is that when you start your business with Shopify, then Shopify by default include the SSL certificate or add HTTPS on your domain or on your website. You can see that our website is including HTTPS. So it's the default feature of Shopify. So don't worry about that. You can easily ignore this checklist because it's done by shopify automatically then find and fix coverall error that we have done in the previous lesson just find will fix in the future lesson then check page dipped then check for duplicate version of your website our website don't have any duplicate version because we don't add any duplicate version then identify and fix the broken link use an SEO friendly URL structure we already do some SEO work on our pages but we learn about SEO friendly structure or SEO friendly URL structure in the product page or when we do SEO on the each product then we can learn more about the SEO friendly URL structure <laughs> you can keep note about website speed increase SEO friendly URL structure fix the crowdal error and fix the broken link
Hey dear, welcome to your Shopify SEO optimization and Shopify store rank course. In this lesson, we are going to learn about Shopify product page optimization and Shopify product page SEO. So, hope you will watch the full lesson and you can learn more about Shopify product SEO in deep. So, let's get started. You can see that I'm on my Shopify admin panel then I'm going to click on the product and here is all the product that I have uploaded in this store and now we're going to start doing SEO in each product so first I'm going to this one elephant with feathers themes fine art richly paint so click on this product title to open it to edit and you can see that here is the title here is the product description here is the media here is the search engine listing that's we can call SEO section they have added page title meta description and URL handle okay that's all good but we are going to learn from the beginning and step by step so what we have to do in the first first we have to add a title that is SEO friendly so how you can know that your title is SEO friendly basically in the title you have to add your niche keyword or product keyword so we have to know what is your product and what is the main keyword of this product so you can see that our product keyword is art richly paint so this is the main keyword and here we are going to sell elephant with feathers themes design so you can understand that our main keyword is art gichli paint and the product or the themes design style elephant with feathers okay so our title is perfect i think you understand then we have to add the description about this product and make it more clear to customers to learn very easily about our product why they should purchase this product what is the feature of this product and how they get beneficial by purchasing this product so we have to write the perfect description for this product and here you must include your product details product benefit and product feature okay then you have to add media and here you must have to add the high quality product image looks here this product image is very high and looks very clean and crystal clear then you have to add the meta description so what is the meta description in the previous lesson we have learned about meta description a meta description is an HTML tag that summarizes a product page content. In the same way, we can say the product meta description is an HTML tag that summarizes a product web page content. So I hope you understand. And now your question is to how you can write the meta description. You can write meta description manually by yourself. You can hire content writer for meta description also you can use free ai tools like freshy or like dash word and using this website you can create meta description for your product also i am going to share more details about meta description when you write your meta description you must follow the search term search term means how your user searching about your product in Google or Bing so you must remember the search term how they are looking for example our product is fine art richly paint that's mean when people search on Google art paint or art richly paint or elephant with feather art paint then our product will be automatically notified by Google or it will be automatically rank on the Google because we have added the same title how the users looks for this product okay then we have to remember the brand message actually what we are going to sell 
and here we must be honest for example we are going to sell say art paint that have elephant with feather so you must be honest with that then we can add complaining marketing message for example why us why now and uh, why you should buy it like so then you have to use the unique selling point for example sign up today and get 50 percent off try it now for seven days if you have any product like so so that you want to sell very quickly then brand tone you must add your brand brand name on your meta description if you want to make your product meta description very unique and of course our will make it unique so now finally we are going to use the free AI tools for example I am going to use this way site we can also use this one so you can type both website elephant with feather themes fine touch richly paint keyword is art paint then elephant art paint okay click on the generate and you can see that here is the meta description looks like get your finely crafted art paint today and be away by the beauty of an elephant with feather admire this curious paint and elephant in art grisly paint here is the three meta description looks good i think this one is very good so going to add this one in here so you can use anyone from here so i hope you understand and finally you have to focus on the url handle and here you must focus on one thing that is your keyword are available in the url for example art gichli paint this is our main keyword and it's not too much long you should not use the full sentence or make a one or two sentences in the product url so keep it as short as possible just keeping the main keyword in the product title so i hope you understand everything very clearly so thank you for your time to join in this lesson we'll see you in the next lesson in the next lesson we'll learn more about how to optimize product page also more about seo to rank our store in the google search console In this lesson, we are going to do the recommended things by Shopify from our dashboard. So, you can see that I am on my Shopify admin panel right now. And here is the home page interface of admin panel. And there is a message, improve your conversion rate. Increase the percentage of visitor who purchase some things from your online store. So, you can see that there are two tags remaining to complete so i'm going to complete these two tags turn on automation click on the turn on abandon turn on okay now go back to the home page you can see that we have done three or four tags to complete so now going to click on the add app button shopify inbox add this app so click on the add app click on the add sales channel we have added the shopify inbox our chat message app so now click on the home page and you can see that we have done all the tags that is recommended by Shopify to improve the conversion rate then I'm going to open get your first term cell section you can see there are six of eight tags completed so click on this arrow icon and welcome new visitor we have done settings your social present we have to done this one make your link in bio shoppable with link pop 
so I'm going to click on the setup link pop link pop is basically a free Shopify app by Shopify and it's turn your social by into a social store font with link pop a free customizable link in bio tools going to click on add app button click on the add sales channel continue to link pop create your link pop set up a link pop page using your shopify store details and products so click on the get started continue select store profile page url we can add link pop your store name marina bird create profile then click on the bio add your social link here okay then click on the publish we have done now click on the linkpop.com marina bird looks here looks good then go back my shopify admin panel refresh this admin panel you can see that we have done seven of eight tags to complete so what is next drive traffic with, with pinterest we have to install pinterest now you can see that we have done all the recommended things or step to improve the conversion rate to get first 10 sales so i hope you understand and we are going to end this class in here and in the next class we are going to do very very important and special things that is your store speed optimization so that is most important things to rank your shopify online store in search engine like google or bing so you must have to follow the next tutorials that will be full and complete guideline to improve your website rank or speed on the search engine we'll see you in the next lesson hey there welcome to you shopify seo optimization and shopify store rank course in this class we are going to learn how to optimize your website to improve the speed so basically this tutorial is about how to increase the website speed so i hope you will watch the full video because this class is very very important for you first of all we have to audit our website so i am going to audit my website and in the website audit, there are multiple tags but we are right now just focus on speed page speed so going to open page speed inside pingdom tools and gt matrix and here is the website url here is the page speed inside enter my website link here is the page speed report our current speed is 14 second very bad on desktop four second plus and we're going to learn what's making the too slow website site here is the reduce initial server response time then reduce unused javascript then reduce unused css and finally properly image size we have to work on the image size also okay so what is and how we can reduce initial server response time this is most important things so we are going to focus on here right now reducing the initial server response time means that you should lower your website times to first byte that is ttfb ttfb refers to the amount of time it a browser to create a connection to the server and to start downloading a web page content now we're going to learn how we can fix this issue so we can fix this issue in two way so number one process when we start creating any theme we have to start from this case use 
custom code and don't use any third party or free theme this is number one process and second way is to use website speed optimization app from Shopify App Store so I'm going to use Shopify page speed app for that you have to go to Shopify App Store apps.shopify.com and search speed booster and you will get a multiple app here and you have to select best app and that is fully free so I have selected three app right here page speed booster RT price free rating is good 400 plus review then booster page speed optimizer that is also good and I think that is best by review and rating and finally repro page speed it's very new there is no review no rating so I have to select anyone from both app so remove this one okay we're going to use the booster page speed optimizer and click on the add app install app okay here is the booster admin section or dashboard you have to click on the choose on to continue okay then click on the continue click on the freeview your store and come back we have done now I'm going to check my website again by page speed insight so this time I'm going to open incognito mode website audit page speed insight now it's better than before also looks in the desktop it looks good previous it was 36 on mobile and right now it is 44 on mobile but we can do more better just going to remove the pop-up we no need pop-up pop-up make our website always late to load so now we have two option one option is to remove all the minimum required app from our store to make it fast another keep app and keep a voice at a little bit slow but in the standard or in the limited time so I hope you understand so you can see that if I go to my admin panel and here is the app so I have added mega menu creator pro this app make a voice that is slow jasmine product review make a voice that is slow and also pop-up email and sms and email so overall there are five app or i think four app is not necessary right now to speed up a website so this is the main things to make a website a little bit low and if you want to make it speed up we have to remove them so i hope you understand also then we have to work on the image optimization let me check this again now you can see the updated result in, in mobile 44 percent and speed less than 10 seconds and in desktop 82 and speed 3 seconds on desktop is standard it's okay but in mobile we have to improve the speed so there are a lot of things that we have to do for example looks here reduce unused javascript for fairly size image reduce unused css serve image in the next gen format element render blocking resource redo initial server response type it is minimum right now we can ignore this one but we have to do other things one two three four five things or five checklist from here so i hope you understand 
everything very clearly and to make a website speed up we have to work long time and in a tutorials or in a short class or basically in a class like 30 minute 14 minute or one hours it's not possible to show you everything and keep the consult on the tutorials so i need more time make speed up this website so i hope you understand so you can try it by yourself most of store need speed optimization expert so you can contact with me for your website speed optimization or make your website as your friendly or speed up make it mobile friendly or a lot of things relevant to your website to rank on the search engine so thank you for your time to joining this class if you think this class is helpful then click on the like button subscribe to my channel have a nice day bye bye hey there welcome to you in my youtube channel and i am faisal ahmed so if you're looking any shopify expert or digital marketer or website designer to make your website using wordpress shopify do the weeks or any other space builder then you can contact with me also i'm working as a seo expert so you can consider me your next project i am available to study your project so if you need fast delivery with high quality support or service then you can consider have a nice day bye bye